Welcome back to our new segment, What's on Tap. Ralph is here from Ridgeview Liquor. He is going to be our beer guy, our beer expert for the next couple of weeks. Our brew meister. Yes. Tell us what you brought for us today. Well, because it is Steel Bank's first anniversary of their brick and mortar building, I brought their brand new double disco. And this is an imperial pale ale, so the malt... Uh, or the grain bill is doubled up and the hops are doubled up a, a really good great pale ale about eight percent alcohol so it's not something you want to drink more than a couple of them <laughs> how would that be with a steak it would be really good with a steak because okay. it has enough hops in there and right. enough uh, alcohol it would hold up the steak it would okay. be very very good with that very cool all right yeah. and this you know that this brewery is finished for making whisper disco right oh yeah okay oh, and this is the double so disco this is, if you're familiar with that Try this one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And they're having a big party on Saturday night. I will be guest bartending. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So, so if you want to meet Ralph in person. If if you say the magic password, I'll buy you a pint. And, of course, the magic password is beer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You guys cannot go wrong with no, this. No, and it's from uh, 2 to 6 or 2 to 8 at the brewery. I'll be there from uh, 5 to 8. Pouring. And where are they located, Ralph? They're located at 215 North Henry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. They have really come a long way in one calendar year. Oh, yes. They? Oh, yes. They bought the brewery, closed on it April 1st last year, worked on it all year long. He and his dad in there working hard, as well as other contractors. You it can see the tap in there. Yeah. Compared to what it was, it looks fantastic. Oh. And the kettles, he's got a 30 barrel system just like uh, Title Town and Hinterland do. Um, and you can see the numbers on the barrels. Those are the the great Green Bay Packer quarterbacks. So. Oh, <laughs> nice. look at that. Well, that's my barrel of 1792. All right. <laughs> and that's me pretending to brew. Thing out there. I love it. And I love your little bottle opener you've got here, oh, yeah. Ralph. This so he is... wants you to use it is what he's telling well, me. Well, I don't know. Just... We, we can, we can, well, you know, a what's a beer me? show without having exactly. beer? Exactly. <laughs> but you have a way with this. You make these bottles, op bottle I, openers. I do make so these. The cap does not get crinkled. So those cap collectors? Yes, I are. love oh, that. Oh, always important, okay. So we also have uh, Bach of the Future. Mm -hmm. This is a Hellas Bach or my Bach. So it's lighter. You can see the color is nowhere near as dark. And of course, it's not cold, so it's really, really foamy. Mm -hmm. But it's a really light beer. But it is still the same alcohol a traditional Bach beer would be. Again, around between 6 and 8%. This one happens to be 8%. I always thought Bach beer had to be dark. See? Not the That's case. why I brought this one, because right, it's a nice. little different. But that is true. Most times, Bach beers are a little darker. Yeah. So if you cool. wanted to try something a little bit different, try that one. Again, right. okay. nice. It's a little easier drinking. Can I just try it? Absolutely. Okay, before we run out of time, let's talk about Easter wines real quick. I brought some really nice Easter wines. Because that's what everybody's thinking about this weekend. Rosés are really great at Easter time because okay. they're bright, they're fresh. They'll go with ham. Everybody has ham. Yep. Um, a Vindupé. This is a Vindupé out of the Mediterranean. Um, Vindupe just means uh, wine of the country. Okay. Uh, a little higher designation than table wine. This is a really great with, um, Washington State wine, and, or not Washington State. This is from uh, Mendocino. Beautiful rose. And it's for Mino because it's Skid Rose. Skid Rose. I love it. <laughs> and then, of course, champagnes always go great anytime. Either. Right. Okay, perfect. So, if we all need help getting all these wines and beer, you're going to point us in the right direction. Absolutely. If you stop by Come on down to Ridgeview Liquor at 2265 True Lane. Okay. Awesome. All right. And they're going to help you out. Thank, Thank you, you, you for being here, Ralph. Anything Absolutely. you guys want to awesome. see, this is let delicious. us know. <laughs> Send us an email. Let us know your recommendations for a, a beer or a brewery that you think that we should feature. All right. We're going to be right